welcome to the shop. So today's video is going to be, I suppose, a Mac 3 explainer. And I'll be answering all the questions, or the main questions, that people have been sending in to me. And general questions about running CNC machines. Now of course, patrons to the channel do get priority uh, in the question stakes. Uh, then followed by subscribers to the channel and so on. So let's make a start. First question that I am asked practically every week is how to get started with CNC routers especially. The main problem seems to be with everybody is the expense. Well I'll show you how to get started very cheaply. Okay, so if I was to start with a CNC hobby again, this is what I would start off with. And this is a 3018, meaning it has the travel of 30 millimeters, 180 millimeters in the, in the Y, and I think this one has. Um, 45 millimeter travel in the Z. Uh, but this particular one that I have has been modified extensively. Uh, this isn't the original motor, this is I think four or five times larger than the original. Uh, this was, I, I designed this uh, motor housing then or holder um, and 3D printed it. And this power unit at the back is the unit that supplies power to the motor. Uh, I also put a third rail on the back over here to stiffen it all up. Uh, but other than that, I th oh I did put a larger stepper motor on here. Other than that, it's the rest of it is standard. And now with these modifications it um, it does pretty well actually. It does you know, sort of uh, 3D carving, small but 3D carving, and um, it's as I've made it as good as what it could be. And I made some, I think, 16 or 20 videos um, on assembling th this whole thing and then finding out okay, this, <laughs> this is uh, this needs uprating. Or all the things that needed uprating and I, I made videos uprating it all and generally how to use it so this is a good start and it, so you can you can get into CNC routing to learn this is a learning tool only I suppose you could call it a big boys toy but that's all this is it's a learning tool as it were. Um, and you can use free programs on this uh, such as uh, GRBL, Gerbil, uh, is the program that runs it, administers the G-Code. Um, there's a couple of other free programs that, that you can get which I describe in my videos. Um, like I say there's 20 videos, I think I've put them all, all into a video library for you, you'll find it on my channel. Some of you may know that I've done quite a few builds. The larger one that this is sat on, this is the last build that I did do that has a 36 by 36 inch uh, travel. Uh, it suits my purposes here. I also did a smaller one which is like a 40 40 um, which is about what? But 20 inches by 20 inches, which is a good little machine. Um, and all of the plans are available on my Patreon pages, as indeed all of the upgrades and modifications that I have done in the shop here, uh, all the plans are available to patrons. And of course, where to buy stuff from and <laughs> what the correct things there to buy as in you know the uh, you know the ball screws and uh, 
things like the the spindle and stepper motors and where to get them from and how much they cost. Now I tell you this because you can build a large one like this one sat on. This. You can build a large one like this for around about four to four and a half thousand Australian dollars. That's doing it yourself. You don't need any you know sort of big equipment um, you know if you if you order the right lens uh, of all screws and things like that you can build it straight off my plans um, and the only things I used with this was a drop saw it was actually a wood saw wood drop saw a good one it's a Ryobi I think uh, and I put a and I used a fine tooth tungsten carbide tipped blade. Now the blade was fairly expensive, but you can cut aluminium with it quite successfully. And I did 20 videos again building this. Every stage, every every bolt hole, every thread, everything. Uh, exactly how to build it as I did with the uh, smaller CNC router that I built. Like I say, I, I tell you this because one equivalent to this, if you're going to buy a good brand, is going to cost you 10 grand. You know, uh, so that is way out of the budget of most of us. Uh, so that's why I decided to start building them myself rather than buying them. I have bought several large machines, um, but it wasn't suit suiting my purpose on YouTube, uh, so I started building them. Okay, so that's basically, that's long and drawn out. <laughs> That's basically um, how to start. Get something, you know, this is what I would do. Get a, something like a 3018, then you start using this. You know, you, you get the knowledge of how to control a CNC machine and uh, what makes it tick. And building it yourself like this small one, you know, it sort of sets you up to building a larger one. Because if you can put one of these little ones together, you can put a larger one together, it's just scaled up.